Patricio, congratulations on the victory. Can you talk about how that fight went according to your expectations? And were you confident that the judges were going to see it for you when it was over? Uh, for sure. Uh, he was mistaken all the his all his attacks and I was in the middle of the cage all the time. I hit him. I hit him hard and he put me down. And uh I take that guillotine. <laughs> he said champion. Papa okay. Patrice. <laughs> That was a tough fight, but we get the victory. Patricia, do you feel like you were being overlooked in this fight? I mean, everybody's talking about AJ's undefeated record, how the first fight went. I guess how disrespected at all, if any, did you feel coming into this fight? Uh, you know, um... Things like that is normal. We saw with Jim McKee undefeated all this time, and it's okay. I don't care about that. But I knew I was come here to take the victory, and we did that. And obviously, the first fight was quick. This one, you spent 25 minutes in the cage with AJ McKee. How good is he? Obvious. His stuff is very good, but the Lion King is here. He, he was in here a short while ago, and he said that he would be willing to, you know, the, do the trilogy with you, but he's going to have to fight at 155 from here on out. He said he's never going to fight a featherweight again. Would you move up to 155 to have a third fight with him? What did he say? He said he wants to do a trilogy with you, but he will never fight at 165. You wanted to fight at 170? I don't know. Uh, the featherweight division is my division. I fought in the lightweight because Michael Chandler. And my brother has the belt. I don't care about that division. If he wants to fight me again, he has to come to the featherweight. That's it. And it's got to be in Brazil this time. No more fighting in California, his hometown. Uh, people over here. Uh, primeramente, parabéns, nuevo campeón. Um, Gracias. This last fight with AJ was the first time you've tasted defeat since 2016. Can you just talk about how you handled that loss and how much of a motivation it was? Again, no, all good, all good. So um, this last fight with AJ was the first time you had tasted defeat since 2016. Can you just talk about how you handled that loss and if it was motivation to get the win tonight? Como você liderou com essa primeira derrota desde 2016? Um, MMA is a tough sport, but uh, to be defeated, unfortunately, is normal, and I don't like it. Nobody like it, and just go home, uh, train harder, smarter, and come back. That's it. Focus. Uh, before the fight, I spoke with your brother. He predicted a fourth round TKO. That didn't happen tonight, but can you just speak how many times you've replayed this fight in your head? Uh, I, I, I gave him a hard punch and he take me down. And, you know, I take a guillotine and he was slippery. Just a second. Campeon! There is a stick pegar. Let's go to the front. Come here, Papa. Let's go to the front. 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 Come on, Papa. 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 Não só da Califórnia, mas também uh, de toda a América. Não é a primeira vez que isso acontece comigo, eu sei que não é proposital. É, uma vez eu lutei com o Corrales, ele estava com um gel no cabelo. E eu peguei, eu peguei de guilhotina, foram as únicas duas vezes que eu perdi a guilhotina na minha vida. 
É, e ele tava com gel no cabelo e acabou escorregando. E Gemma aqui tava com muito creme no cabelo. Não foi proposital, eu sei que ele não, ele não, é, ele não é covarde, ele não, ele não precisa jogar sujo pra lutar contra mim. Mas eu peço a vocês, juízes, comissões atléticas, que não permitam que os lutadores passem creme no cabelo. Pô, o cara começa a suar, a gente começa a se agarrar ali e acaba que atrapalhou. Ele roncou, meus cornos disseram que ele, na TV, deu pra ver ele virando o olho. Mas ele não bateu porque eu não, eu não, eu não consegui mais segurar o cara escorregando. I want to bring attention to the commission about uh, these fighters that keep putting gel in their hair. I know they're not doing it on purpose. I don't believe he is that type of person. But this is the second time I've gotten a guillotine. Uh, the first one was Corrales. He had a lot of gel in his hair. And today, AJ McKee had a lot of gel in his hair. We know He knows it's not done with, uh, on purpose. But that thing was tight, and he was able to slip his head out. And he was very slippery because of that gel, that gel that he puts in his hair. And I want the California Commission to start paying attention to that, all commissions, really. Patricia over here. So you said that you, you controlled the middle of the ring. What was, the, uh, what was your uh, thoughts about um, him trying to bait you in? and trying to get you to come on an attack. I was I was expecting that he has he has good abilities but nothing that I was seeing in the in the gym in my home the first two rounds you really controlled it with leg kicks was that the 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 plan coming into the fight uh in our first round i was doing the same but we don't have time to follow the shot here so um wait uh during the uh the fight there was a lot of uh attacks to the body from you uh, also leg kicks as mentioned um, I think uh, the fourth round was a bit slower. Was the goal to like damage him so to get a finish when he he be maybe uh, less mobile or less agile and less able to get out of the way? Okay. O objetivo era dar chute na perna e atacar o corpo para ele ficar mais lento e você conseguir nocautear? Nem tanto. Nem tanto. Eu Lógico, treinei aquilo, mas não era a estratégia principal. Ele estava bloqueando muito, projetando muito com a cabeça. Acabou me abrindo aqui, me machucando aqui, abrindo aqui um corte. Então, é, o trabalho que eu tinha treinado mais, eu acabei não fazendo. Até acabei tendo que adaptar o jogo. E ele estava lá, paradinho na minha frente, com aquela perna maga. E eu acabei castigando um pouquinho para ele sentir um pouco de dor. Como eu disse que ia trazer para ele dor, não só física, mas também vou trazer dor mental. Não quero pisar em ninguém, mas ele está nesse esporte é, para ser derrotado. Ele não vai. Ele não, ele não, eu, eu sabia que eu ia ser o primeiro cara da primeira derrota a ele. Então, dei dor físico e dor mental. It wasn't my principal strategy, but he was standing in front of me. Uh, he was hitting me to my head. I obviously got some bumps on my head, but that leg was sitting right there for me. So I wanted to not only hurt him physically, but I wanted to hurt him mentally. Uh, I always knew that I would be AJ McKee's first defeat, and um, now I am. And I see you brought the uh, uh, typical hat of uh, Northeast of Brazil, which is, uh, I believe, the same hat you may have worn when you first fought in Bellator uh, in Connecticut uh, years ago. And, um, and Scott, Co Scott Coker just said that he'd be very much willing to have uh, a card in Brazil with all the Brazilian champions. Uh, can you talk about the significance of bringing uh, your hat today and, and also the, uh, the, how you feel about the possibility of headlining a card in Brazil? Um, that, that's, that's the hat is it's from a brother of mine who passed away and he's a real cowboy in Brazil, we call it Vaqueiro. And that title is for him, the extra motivation for me. 
and Santa Cruz is his name. The, the, card, the, the card in Brazil, um, it's a dream. I just won the third round against the Gemaki in Natal, my city. If it's possible, let's do that. Hey, Patrice, so you told us in fight week that even with winning this belt, there's still more that you want to accomplish. I'm curious what specific goals you still have in this sport and what potentially is next for you? If Dana White has some balls, let's put champion against champion. That's my goal. Cross promotion. Hey, Pitbull, I was wondering what you could say about the man sitting beside you today, Captain, how he's helped you along through your career and helped you get to where you are today. <laughs> um. He he's my friend, he helped me a lot, you know. He's American and always when he can he goes to Brazil and help not just me but all my team. Everyone has to learn from his great guy. I'm happy has this man by my side. Captain. Don't cry, baby. Hey, Captain. And all my team right there. Nobody's jealous, please. <laughs> and going into that fifth round, uh, I mean, going into that decision after the fifth round, how confident were you that you did enough throughout the fight to secure the victory? Ah, uh, yes. Um, he, he committed a lot of mistakes. He missed. Uh, a lot of punches and kicks, and he took me down. And like I said, I, 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 I made a great guillotine. I, I don't know. It, it was good, but I know I knew it. It was my future. And lastly, are you interested in going straight to the trilogy, or are you interested in welcoming an opponent such as Adam Boric or Aaron Pico for the title? I don't care who is next. I'm going to kick out this ass. <laughs> Patricio, um, actually heading into the fifth round, did you feel like you were ahead and he needed a stoppage? Um, yes, that, yes and no. That, that's why he, he, at the beginning of the round, he, he, he tried to put me down, right? Yeah, he, he take me down and, and he was trying to, to win that round. That was tough. He's very good. And your corner kept you updated in the fight. Did they tell you that you were ahead, or what, what was their information to you in terms of the scoring leading into the fifth my, round? My, my brother and all teams said, hey, that was tough, but we, we believe we, we won the fight. Uh, sorry. Uh, my brother said, hey, he's going to try to put you down again. Be ready. Yeah. Said that. And I, I told him it was 2-2 going into last round, that he needs the spirit of Santa Cruz right now and keep the pressure on. I need the best round of your life. Rise like the phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he showed me the, the how do I get it? And showed me the hat. So I brought the hat up to the cage to show him it. And it, and it worked, Eric? He responded the way you wanted him to? Yes, it gave him the extra motivation going into that fifth round. Can we get Patricky Pitbull up here so we get the first brothers in history? Pitbull brothers, the first brothers in history to have world titles together. Patricky, ven para acá. This is history. This is a historic night. Not only did we rewrite history. We righted what was wrong. And now the Bellator goat is back. Look at this right here. Pitbull Brothers. Pitbull. Pitbull. Yeah. Come on, where's the brothers at? Hey, you know, uh, 12 years ago, we came to Bellator and the dream was, hey, let's become a champion together. 
and should they happen. Todo mundo, Everton, Mano, Ford, Miguel, Chicao. Everybody, Santa Cruz. Campeão! Campeão! Deixa o irmão, deixa o irmão.